This video is brought to you by Squarespace. These are my top sweet spots in Harajuku. So we're back in Harajuku. I've actually done a sweets video a long, long time ago, but I haven't done one recently and a lot has changed in this area. So I wanted to take you around in this video and show you all of my new sweet spots. But before I start, if you guys wanna help support the channel, check out the Tokyo merch. If you guys wanna see what I'm doing on the daily, check out my Instagram account. And if you have any questions about Japan or Japan travels, check out the Discord community. All right, let's do this. Oh Harajuku, it used to be the capital of kawaii fashion and crepes, but times are a changing and this is the new Harajuku, a popular destination area for the trendiest sweet shops from all over Japan and even the world. So pack your toothbrushes for this one cause we're going deep into the streets of Harajuku and you just might get a cavity. Hey Wolfie. So today is take your son to work day. This is actually Wolfie's first time going out with me. But it's not too much of an extension because we take this walk every morning. So he's kind of used to it. The only thing a little bit different is we're gonna be eating today. I usually eat all of this in one day, but I don't know if Wolfie will be able to actually handle that. So yeah, we'll just see how it goes. So when you first come to Harajuku, many people head to Takeshita Dori, but as a local, I prefer to hit up Cat Street as it has more of a chill street vibe. So let's start here. Quick tip, closest station is Meiji Jingu Mai Station. All right, let's start with the Harajuku basics, them fluffy uffy pancakes. Number one, Mikasa Deco and Cafe. Hidden in the backside of Cat Street, this spot attracts patrons of all ages for its plumpy, jiggly pancakes. Usually, it has a long line outside, especially on the weekends, but you know how it is these days. So I ordered their signature ricotta cheese infused pancakes. It comes with three fluffy style pancakes piled up with classic toppings, butter, whipped cream, and a flavorful maple syrup. Look at these nice, fluffy, three-layered pancakes. Oh, let me just take some of this, dip it in. Look at that. Oh. That's like biting into a cloud. It's amazing. So what sets this pancake apart is not only is it fluffy, but it's actually made with ricotta cheese inside. So it has kind of like a nice cheesy pancake flavor. You can see the ricotta cheese right there. But that's a very strong maple syrup, makes it super sweet. But the pancake itself, just nice and fluffy, but it has kind of like a nice density to it as well because of the ricotta cheese. I also ordered a puffin. It's a perfect mix of fluffy pancakes and muffin. Taste and texture wise, I would say it's the most like a fluffy pancake shaped into a muffin. Would want a muffin when you can get a puffin. You can see that it's a fluffier than a normal muffin. And look at that, I just dolloped everything there, dripping. Oh, what an explosion of flavors in my mouth. So I had to get Wolfie out. It looks like he's just as hungry as me right now. Mmm. I really enjoy that nice sourness of the raspberry. Then you have the cream on top of it with some of this powdered sugar. Mmm. Number two, Snowy Village. Snowy Village is a Korean style shaved ice shop that uses fresh rich milk and tops their treats with an overwhelming portion of fresh fruits and sides. Look, he's so cute! So I ordered their luscious fresh mangoes shaved ice. On top there's whipped cream and an absurd amount of fresh mangoes and a mango sauce poured over it. Look at this mountain of joy. It is literally as big as my head. Look at that, you have the mangoes, and then there you have the shaved ice. Mm. And these pieces of mangoes are nice. That you have almost like some mango syrup on it as well. I just love how flaky the ice is. You just get it so nice and fine. Almost looks like little pieces of shaved coconut. It just melts in your mouth. You can taste a little bit of like sweetened milk in the ice as well. Just below it, you have some more mango. Mmm. Mmm. Number three. 
Number three, Mizuho. Just a few minutes from Mikasa Deco and Cafe, this Japanese confectionery shop specializes in mame daifuku. In fact, it's been crowned by locals as part of the Tokyo Big Three for mame daifuku. All right, we got it. Look at that right there. Look at all of that powder coming off my fingers. Ooh. powder all over my lips. The mochi itself is just so soft and then the anko inside is just super silky. It has a sweetness to it but it also has kind of like a saltiness at the same time. Kind of like a blend of different like flavors. A very well put together sweet. You can see it has the mochi outer shell. You can see inside that has koshian. It has these little beans that are inside of the mochi skin itself. This is a pure like old school traditional Japanese sweets. So if you don't have a flavor for Japanese sweets, then it might be a little bit too, how do you say, elegant or too old school. For you, it's not like, like sweet, sugary, junky kind of taste, but it's kind of like a nice, refined, elegant taste. Number four, milk, milk, milk. So this spot in Harajuku has some of the freshest Hokkaido milk around. Let me show you. Milk, 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 not to be confused with closets, 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 just opened up in La Forêt on the second floor this last July. It offers milk sweets using 100% real deal Hokkaido rich milk, which has a high rate of milk fat. The shop regularly collaborates with characters, and when I visited this time, they were doing a Sanyo My Melody collaboration. So I got the strawberry pudding, which is a soft milk pudding topped with strawberry sauce. I love this place. You have milk straight from Hokkaido. I don't see that I've mixed it around a little bit already. Oh, that milk tastes so fresh. And if you really want, you can get a soft cream on top of this, but I just wanted to get this nice milky pudding. Oh, that freshness is unbelievable. This one, because it is like a milk pudding, it's more kind of like drippity, drippity do, but it just makes it all so much better. In fact, it's so good, you can just like drink it straight, which we can do. Wow, that is fabulous. Before I continue, I wanted to give a quick shout out to our sponsor today, Squarespace. With everything that's going on in this world today, their support makes all the difference for me and my family. If you don't already know, Squarespace is the go-to place to build your online presence. In fact, I use Squarespace for my own personal website. Squarespace has uniquely awesome templates, making it easy to start. And better yet, they have some pretty awesome tools to help you along the way. For example, they have portfolios and galleries to display all of your projects. And Squarespace has powerful blogging tools to tell your story, show your updates, photos, and videos. And if you're an analytics nerd like me, you can see how your visits, unique visitors, and page views trend over time, helping you to build a better website as you go. So go to squarespace.com today, and when you're ready to check out, go to squarespace.com forward slash Paolo from Tokyo and get 10% off your first domain or website. Let's keep this food adventure rolling. Number five, Matcha House. Just across the street from the newly renovated JR Harajuku Station, located in the With Harajuku building on the third floor, you can find one of my favorite cafes, Matcha House. A matcha specialty cafe shop originally from Kyoto. Matcha's house number one menu is without a doubt their Uji Matcha Teramasu. They use matcha from Morihan, a tea maker with more than 180 years of history. So a lot of you guys might already know that we featured at this spot in my Kyoto video but since we're doing a whole new Harajuku video and they're finally here in Tokyo, I wanted to show you this spot. So this is the matcha teramasu that you saw in my Kyoto video and it's just so delicious. You can see the green tea at the top of it and then it has the mascarpone and then you can see the sponge cake right there. That is heaven. And the sponge cake itself, it's like soaking up all of the matcha flavor. And so you get kind of like this moist, almost delicate kind of dessert. And then the matcha itself has a nice bitterness, but it's not too strong. In fact, I can almost see myself in like a full bath of this tiramisu and just dunking my entire body. Not to put pictures inside of your head. What's kind of cool is that if you eat more of the sponge cake, you get kind of more of the matcha flavor taste to it. And then if you stick to the mascarpone, 
on the white stuff, then you have a heavier, thicker, creamy dessert. It's kind of cool how you can kind of like balance what kind of flavors you want. Look at that. You can see the hojicha all in there. You have the ice cream right there. It even has some kuromitsu in there, which is like a brown sugar. Ah, that hojicha is good. For those of you that don't know, hojicha is still a green tea. Unlike a green tea, it's not that bitter, but it almost has like a burnt flavor. It kind of like goes through your senses and your nose. You can see the kuromitsu right there. Wow. It tastes a little bit less than like a very like strong cow milk, but it's just so super silky. It goes really, really well together. So how are you doing, Wolfie? Feeling good? Yeah. Let's go to another spot. Number six, Coconut Glens. This next one is a vegan ice cream shop originally from Maui, Hawaii. They serve organic, dairy-free, vegan ice cream. Oh what, did I just say vegan? Don't worry, their coldy colds are no joke. So in this video, I couldn't leave out all of my vegan fans. I know you guys are always asking for me to show one of the food spots. So this is dedicated to you guys. So we have original pistachio and passion fruit. I believe this is the pistachio here. It's a nice pistachio. You can like taste all the, like, the nuttiness in there. You can see like how natural that is with different pieces of the pistachio. The greens, the browns. It's the original right there and it looks like it even has like coconut slices. Mm, they have a lot of it. Chunks in here, nice slices. Just to feel like you're eating a full coconut. This one is the passion fruit. Mm, it's really fruity, has a nice tarty slang to it. So good, I can't believe it's vegan. Number seven, dot com space. If you're looking for a quiet cafe chill spot, you don't have to look any further. Just two minutes north of JR Harajuku Station, but it's hidden in the back streets, so don't get lost. So feel free to download the map in this video to help you along. The store uses a coffee tech called Drip Drop by Bubble Lab. It kind of sounds like a rap song to me though. Baristas carefully choose coffee beans from selected roasters like Fugland Coffee Roasters and Philo Coffee. So we needed to take a quick coffee break and show you this spot. Well, Maiko is having an iced latte and in fact, I'm having a Tokyo IPA. But since we are doing a sweets video, I wanted to mention this little deal. It is a fig walnut toast. You have the walnuts right there on top. You have the figs here and then it has some whipped cream right there. and. It has like a syrup here and it's almost like a caramel but it almost tastes like it has a rum in it. That's nice. And I just love how fresh this fig is. Mmm. Far East Brewing Company, thank you for this break. What's also cool is that, you know, really nice places like this usually tend to get really, really like crowded and there's a lot of people, but in fact, right here on a Saturday, I mean, it's not too crowded, so it's kind of like a little hideaway from like the busy, busy crowds. I don't know if it's a beer or the rum in here, but I'm feeling happy right now. <laughs> Let's move on to the next place. And number eight, Gomiya Cookie. This next spot is famous for their sesame ice cream. They use up to 9,000 sesame seeds for one scoop. And they also have this really, really interesting tempura ice cream. Let's go inside and let me show you. This shop offers the richest sesame ice cream in the world. Well, at least that's what they say. The shop is produced by Kuki Sangyo, which is a well-known sesame products company in Mie with 131 years of history. So check it out, I got the sesame and matcha parfait. I got two different flavors of sesame. I got white and black. And this is actually the salty version of the sesame. They actually have six different flavors. Let's first taste this sesame. Oh, it's already dripping. Mm. Oh. 
Whoa, that's like a very refined taste. Definitely tastes as sesame, but it has that interesting saltiness to it. A little bit rich, but it's really, really smooth. Mmm. Right here, you have like the brown stuff. You have some azuki, and then you have some like matcha pudding right there. And there's just so much different flavors. This has like everything you want in a dessert. You can see the watabi mochi right there. On the other side of it, you have some whipped cream. Mmm, like a little jello bomb. There's so many little presents in here, and then you get the azuki bean. Look at that. Mmm, I'm just loving life right now. I also got an ice cream tempura with black sesame ice cream inside. This is actually ice cream fried in tempura. Where else can you get that in this world? I think it's kind of like hot to the touch, like french fries, but it's cold. Like a little snowball. Let me just dig deep into this one. Whoa! Look at that black sesame in there. It almost looks like a mud pie. That's amazing. Mm. Wow, what a combination. So you definitely get that sesame goodness in there. Nice ice cream, a cold flavor to your mouth. But then you get this tempura that's just covered. It's more of like a, a donut texture that's surrounded. So it's like if you imagine having a donut with some ice cream inside, it's probably more like that. I can literally eat this all day. All right, so that concludes the video. If you guys liked it, help me out and hit that like button. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. And if you want to see more Japan guides or anything related to Japan, hit that subscribe button and the button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.